Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this will be a Terraform video. So this video will, will be about uh, DevOps. So I want to show an interesting feature in Terraform and also uh, I will be running Terraform locally um, and I will be using local stack to mock AWS. We're going to mock KMS, we're going to mock S3 and, and that will get us going uh, much faster, right? But feel free to run this on AWS. So let's get started. So I have a um, simple project I started here. Let me open my VS code and we start from there. So basically, um, we need to have local stack up and running. I already have it running. And as you can see here, local stack is mocking several uh, AWS services and resources like CloudFormation, CloudWatch, DynamoDB, C2, IAM, STS, KMS, Kinesis, Lambda, Hout53, S3, and so many more, right? So yeah, I, I really like LocalStack. Um, so once uh, LocalStack is up and running, we can take a look here. Um, I created a run Terraform script, so um, I don't need to type uh, auto-approve all the time, right? So it, it, this will be auto-approving. Once uh, you have the project, if you git clone from my GitHub, first thing you need to run is Terraform uh, init uh, dot. This will initialize the plugin. So you see it's pretty fast because I run it already, right? So that's why it was so fast. Um, and uh, the next thing we're going to do is Terraform plan. But before that, let's look my Terraform files, right? So um, I, net, I had to do this different AWS provider config and main different thing is here you can see that access key and secret key i'm putting zero which clearly is not valid but then there this is skips like skip credential validation skip uh, request account id skip metadata api check um, s3 force pet style true and um besides that we are passing custom endpoints right so um, all, all the services in local stack I show, they're running on the port uh, 4566, and then I just need to point the services I want to mock, right? So I mock uh, uh, um, IAM, S3, and KMS, right? So then what we're going to do is this. So first, we're going to create a KMS key. So basically, um, we just put the name of the KMS key that will be KMS S3 files. KMS is really cool because uh, the key... You know, is a it, it's a, there is a key hierarchy. There is an envelope encryption. The key never leaves AWS, so never can be hacked. Well, the side effect is that you have remote encryption all the time, right? But KMS is pretty cool. So <clears throat> I have uh, I, here we are creating a KMS key. So it's called it KMS S3 file, all right? And then that's just the description, and uh, you know uh, we we're setting the del deletion window in seven days. Um, then we're going to create S3 bucket and we're going to use uh, resource in Terraform AWS S3 bucket. Then we're going to name um, this this block as uh, my JSON files bucket and the bucket name going to be my JSON files bucket. And this is going to be a private uh, bucket. Then we can go to the cool part where is this bucket object where uh, in Terraform we can get a local file and just upload to S3. Right, so I have this local file. I call it uh, my JSON dot JSON, where I add some metadata here, like a metadata uh, version one application ID, my dummy microservice owner. I am the owner. I don't want to be notified on anything. So I just made up a JSON. You know, it could be an XML or any other file you want to uh, upload on S3. Right. So this is like just dummy data. Then. On the AWS S3 bucket object, right, we're going to tag this block as object. And then the bucket, as you can see, I'm, I'm doing a reference to the AWS S3 bucket, which is here. And then to my JSON files bucket and getting the ID, right? So we are linking um, this bucket that's going to be created here with this particular resource, right? The, okay. Then we need to define a key. Um, and the key for me will be my JSON, JSON key. And this is the cool part. You just point to a source, right? So in the same folder, I have my JSON. So I do, just do dot slash uh, my JSON, JSON. And finally, we link to a KMS key ID. And uh, we do that by using the resource AWS KMS key, which is here. Uh, and then we link with um, 
KMS has three files, which is this guy, and then we get the arm, the arm of the KMS key. And then we good, we ready to roll. Uh, one important thing to mention, you might see this on the internet with an e-tag example. Right now you cannot mix and match e-tag and KMS key, right? So either use one or the other. So KMS key is uh, better. So that's what you're gonna do. So now uh, you wanna do a Terraform plan to understand what will happen, all right? Um, and, and, and Terraform gonna tell you the objects that gonna create and everything, right? So it looks good. And finally, we wanna do Terraform apply. So I have my script, so I don't need to, to auto-approve it. Remember that Locker stack needs to be up and running, otherwise it will not work. And there we go, um, it's just uh, working. So this resource is pretty cool, right? So you can just send your local files to Terraform. It's pretty awesome. Um, so that's it, guys. I hope you guys like this video. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.